Remember the days when you were back in primary school and the teacher would wheel in the massive TV on a trolley and you think, yes, this is going to be the best lesson ever. I'm just going to be able to sit back in the dark and watch. But the days when we could just point our learners to an online video and assume they were learning are well and truly over. We're here to educate, not just to edutain, and our learners need more from us than just a passive experience. It's all about making progress. So this week on Tuesday Tech Tips, we'll be looking at PlayPosit. PlayPosit is a tool that gets your learners actively engaging with the videos you send them to, and it's really easy to use. Okay, the first thing to do is head over to playposit.com and we'll sign up for a free account. And again, you can use your Office 365 login information and sign up as an instructor. Next, fill in all of the consent information and sign up for the basic account. I've signed up for the beta version as this is what Playposit will be updated to in the near future. So we come to your first dashboard and each of the videos you create are called bulbs. We're going to add a new bulb and then enter the designer. Next, we're going to add a video source, and there's various options you can choose from. We've got your own videos you've used before, you can input a URL, and you can upload your own MP4 and MP3 files. You can also search within YouTube, Vimeo, and 3C Media. If we search in YouTube for health and safety near mist, PlayPosit searches YouTube, and you can preview these videos without leaving the site, and you can add your video from here. The other way to add a video is by using a URL, so this time if we already know the YouTube URL, we can just paste that in here and add the video to your bulb. You can preview the video from here and add your own title, and then we click Done. So now that we've got that loaded up, we can add our own interactions, so we're going to play the video a little bit. A near miss is an unplanned event that did not result in injury, illness or damage but had the potential to do so. In other words, it's an accident that was just barely avoided. Near misses provide an opportunity to learn and improve safety practice. What might cause a near miss? Now that sounds like a good point to have an interaction with a learner. So we're going to add the interaction and you have the options such as multiple choice, free response, fill in the blank or discussion. We're gonna go for free response, which means the learners can respond to the question around the subject we're covering. The question I'm going to ask is, what factors do you think contribute to near misses in the workplace? And then we're gonna click done. And then you can carry on again to the next point for an interaction. So again, we could have another free response and this time we're gonna ask, what would unsafe conditions be at your workplace? And done. And you can see here, it tells you at what point on the timeline you've added your interactions. Once you've added all of the interactions you want, you can then review. You can preview your video, change the title, and you can add a learning objective. So ours could be identify possible causes of near misses in the construction industry. You can add tags and you can adjust playback options so you can allow the learners to rewind after the interaction appears. You can skip interactions, but I want them to answer them all. You can allow them to fast forward and like in this case, you can allow learners to retake the bulb. Further down is the privacy settings. Your bulbs can be open to the public so you can join a community of PlayPosit creators, or they can be kept private. As we're using this with learners, for safeguarding purposes, I'd recommend keeping your bulbs private so only users with the code can view, and then we can save the changes. And again, if we preview, you can see your bulb in action, so press play. A near miss is an unplanned event that did not result in injury, illness or damage, but had the potential to do so. In other words, it's an accident that was just barely avoided. Near misses provide an opportunity to learn and improve safety practice. What might cause a near And there you go. We've got our first question pop up for the learner to respond to. Continue to the next interaction and again your learners submit a response. So once we've previewed, we can go back to our previous tab and save and exit. This takes us back to our dashboard where we can share our bulbs with our learners. You can export data so once learners have started to respond, we can export that data. Learners can view your bulbs with just the preview code. 
but you'll need them to sign up to a class code if you want to see who has responded and use this as evidence in their ePortfolio or have a discussion around their responses. To do this, go to Classes on the left-hand sidebar and create a class. Name it. I'll name mine Test Class. Press Save. And then what we do is go into the Test Class, go to Learners, and then we can upload Learners. You can upload a list of your learners if you've got a CSV file that you've created in Excel, but to make sure you're keeping GDPR compliant, it's always worth getting the learners to sign themselves up using your class code or class URL. Once you've got learners enrolled, you can then go back to your bulbs, and this time you go to Actions and Assign, and then assign your bulb to the class you've created. And date this from when it starts, and now it's assigned. And from here, you can export data. It downloads as an Excel file and you can see who has responded. That's how easy it is to use Playposit. It makes using online videos much more interactive. It's not just a passive experience. The learners have to interact and respond, and it can really move their experience from passive to more active learning. So that's Playposit. I'll see you next week for another Tuesday Tech Tip.